Welcome back. Joining us now is registered dietitian Michelle Swader. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Hi. All right. If you would like to ask her any questions, the number to call is 270-9933. But before we take your qu their questions, let's talk a little bit about the danger zone. Right. Well, food safety is really nobody's favorite topic, but <laughs> this time of year it's really important to cover. There's over 48 million cases of foodborne illness every year and they can, the cases can spike during the holidays. So it's best to keep your food safe, and the way to do that is to keep it out of the danger zone. The danger zone is temperatures anywhere between 40 degrees and 140 degrees. That's when bacteria can grow and multiply at their fastest. So there's some basic things that you can do. Um, definitely keep them in the refrigerator or thaw them in cold water if you have some frozen food. Leaving them out on the counter can get the surface area bacteria growing, but the inside can still be frozen. So it's not a very effective way to do it. Um, also, we'd like you to reheat your leftovers until they get to about 165 degrees. That helps the bacteria that might have gotten in there um, to be killed before you eat them. Um, also, it's good to not leave food out more than two hours. A lot of times during the big holiday meals, that can stretch a little bit longer. So after the food has been out room temperature for two hours, either refrigerate it or throw it away. And you probably have a lot of guests at your house. You don't want anyone to get sick. That right. If good. you're cooking for yourself, that's one thing. But if you've got other children, older people, maybe some ill people, you want to make sure that you keep them safe. Definitely. Okay. I think we have our first caller, Shirley in Milton. Um, let's see what she has to say. Shirley, are you there? Oh, hello. Hi, Shirley. Yeah. How are you yeah. doing? At the questions about orange juice, um, which is the best product to buy, uh, the frozen in these little cans or the uh, bottled, which is bottled in a, probably a juice, or, or powdered like Tang? Well, thank you. I would say actually the best answer is to eat a whole orange over the juice. You're going to get <laughs> a lot better <laughs> nutrients. But if you do want to have a juice, I would go with the, the fresh squeezed, not from concentrate, um, that's going to keep the most nutrients in. It's not going to have any added sugar or added water. Um, but again, if you eat the whole, you're also going to get some fiber and some extra nutrition as well. All right. Thank you so much, Shirley. Looks like you're going to eat you. some oranges. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. So let's talk a little bit about um, why, why do you think it spikes during the holidays, that there's more bacteria? In? Right. Well, you hear often about the things on the news, the, the outbreaks that are kind of cross-country, you know, and, and bigger groups, but you don't really hear about the things that happen during the family events. And it's really the events that go up. It's the parties at the Pollock at work, um, the big, like I said, long hours, long family dinner. And so the opportunity is just there for people to get a little bit more lax with their food safety. Um, you also have kids and pets and people walking in and out of the kitchen. You might be shaking hands and, and giving hugs. And so it's important oftentimes to wash your hands maybe more often than you would if you were just making dinner at home, you know, for yourself, for your immediate family. Yeah, and during the holidays, you definitely like to display all the food out, and then you kind of don't realize how long it's been out there. Right, yep, and, and there's some food that is safer than others, you know, food that is moist, you know, cheeses and meats and those things are a little bit more at risk than maybe your, your plate of Christmas cookies, but even then, those should be kept in the fridge when they're not being used. All right, well, thank you so okay. much for thank you. joining us. Thanks.